hanging out top of Catalina 42, favorite boat. And uh, let's do a rig check. Just making sure everything's all good. You can see it's nice and smoky out here in the hills. This week's splice of the week is, we're gonna be splicing uh, New England Ropes VPC. And so it's a polyester cover, really grippy, nice cover, um, with a uh, blended Vectran core. So it's Vectran and uh, polyolefin is what they call it. So, so you get the combination of the two mixed for a nice economical low stretch higher. So, we'll cut that off all fresh here. Ceramic, ceramic blade here, cuts it beautifully. You can get these anywhere, they're awesome. Target, Cernatab, Amazon, I'm sure. Um, big fan of them. These a lot. And then I also use um, these are the D splicer scissors. They got a nice, um, it's a nice straight edge on one side, and then it's a micro serration on the other side. It's really good for cutting high tech lines. So First thing you do is you're gonna get about, let's call it about two arms lengths of line, and then you're gonna tie like an overhand knot, and you can go ahead and tie it off to like your winch, like I got here, or on what I use, it's hard sand, but I've got a large carabiner that's tied off here to the bench. So attach it there, pull it tight, we got that guy there, and we're gonna go to the end here usually have a spike in the table and um, there's all different kinds of measurements to uh, to splice this right I've got a chart that I go off of that I've been using for years that I developed uh, along with the guys there at West Marine Rigging um, so let's see here so this is a 5 16 diameter line we're gonna splice into the customer's uh, shackle still okay it's a nice Richard shackle so let's see we've got our first mark is going to be like two feet. So you go two feet from the the bitter end there, and you make a mark. It's hard telling on you know when you're using the dark um, dark line, but you can tell the difference there. Otherwise, some people use a paint pen, or you can use chalk chalk, or some people will put in the the pin so you know where it's at. All right, so that's going to be the first mark. Second mark, we're going to double it over. And we're going to make another mark opposite of it right there. And that's going to be our eye size. We're going to go with kind of a, a larger eye size. It'll shrink up a little bit. Okay. So at our second mark away from the bitter end, we're going to extract the core. So the way how I do it is I break it in half. You pretend like you're breaking it in half and then you're squishing it together. And that gets it to herniate out. And you can get it out really easy. That's my method. You can also, some people use like a fid or a spike and they'll pick out the core. But um, on a lot of lines you can get away with what I just did. So where you extract it, you can make a mark on the core and then you can extract it the west, rest of the way. You pull it out from the bitter end. Now you got a line there. And now we need to get our slip um, distance, our slip mark. So 5 16 it is five and a half inches. So we come over here mark out five and a half inches away from our bitter end five and a half inches and what I do instead of just making one little dot I make one big band that goes all the way around that way you can tell the difference between that mark and that mark okay so now you get your fid which is the appropriate size I like to use the Samson fids um, hollow in the one end point at the other and you've got your fit marks for when you're doing double braid splices. We don't need those marks for this time. So first thing, stick the core inside there as much as you can, and then go ahead and grab your electrical tape. I prefer to use electrical tape. That's my favorite. And then take that off. And then the next thing, you know, that's all taped off. And it's just like with any good, good paint job or anything like that, it's all about the prep. So the better you tape it on, the easier it's going to be spliced. So now, you take your fit, 
you insert it back where you came out there and you're going to come out at our second mark and you got to find that other dot and this is the first mark that we made on the cover it goes you can see there it goes in here comes out there now we come all the way through we've got like this loop here and this is the important thing this is when you want to put on your shackle so now you put the fib through your shackle just like that and now we're going to extract as much of the core um, from the knot end of the line extract that and then this is the there's the big band that we went all the way around with we're gonna pull that all the way so that it lines up here and we're, we exit it out and now we're gonna take the fit and we're gonna slide it inside so I'll keep seeing this in all these uh, splicing videos it's it's really easy to make a good um, good line it's really hard to make a good line that's spliceable and so this VPC is an awesome line it's really easy to splice um, yeah it's a good all-around line and this is gonna be a hired for an Ericsson 27 this will be their main hired so you're just gonna go nice and easy on the corner if you look I'm kind of squishing the, the core up a little bit so that it kind of balloons up and, and then I shove the fid and you just keep going and you see how it kind of fattens up like a like a snake and you can just kind of milk that down and we're going to keep going keep going here and chill that's all gone and then if you look right there you go you got to get this out of there so what we do is you put your cover tail and you pull it through and now the shackle's sitting where it's supposed to be so if you look, you can go ahead and extract your fit here, it comes out, go ahead and take off the tape, this goes like that, and then you can take your core, that's inside your core, and you pull it as tight as you can, and you try to get out as much as possible, and now we're going to do the taper. So the taper is a big part of the strength of the splice, it's the smoother the taper, the, the stronger the splice is going to be. So I pick one out as close as I can um, towards coming out there and I'll, I'll skip two. So I'll go skip two and if you look by two, I mean one, two strands and then you grab another. So on the third one, you pull one out. And you just want to do a nice even taper. And so it visually looks nice and even. there and then when it gets to the end you get them all just opened up and then it'll be easier just to get them with the scissors and do a nice smooth taper all right so we got all this out there this stuff is very slippery it's kind of like corn silk it looks like it feels like it so do your first cut get that guy out of the way second cut third cut just keep going down you can see how sharp these scissors are you use dull scissors and these guys dull out on me after a few months of everyday use but they're they're pretty awesome scissors i've tried a lot of scissors i have a collection of scissors i don't know if you can see them. there's a pile here i mean i can sharpen them so, uh, all right so just keep going with our taper all right So now we get rid of the excess here. Get it all out of here. So now got our nice even taper. And next, what you do is you're gonna grab it. We call this the throat, where the eye comes together. You're gonna grab it there, where it's all bunched up here, and you're gonna milk this all down. See how it's all going in the tail's getting sucked inside. There we go. Make it all nice and smooth. If this is nice and smooth, then it'll the splice will pull together better. So now we'll lay it all out so you can see. So if you look, now we've got to get all of this core inside the cover here. Okay. 
So this is an important thing. So a lot of people when I um, beginning, you can stick a pin right here that keeps it from slipping in here and coming apart. Um, some people wrap a piece of tape or I just hold it with my fingers. But that's the important thing is you're gonna hold there and then you got this spot here. So what I normally do, hard for me to show you guys on the camera here, um, but I take my fid, a large fid, and I use it kinda, I just let the line roll over it as I, let's see if I can do it here, as I milk the cover over the top of the core. Let's see here, let me try and use my winch here. Let's see if that'll help me um, be able to show you guys. So if you just watch here, the core is slowly going inside there. Pull it in. Let's see, just a little bit of a hernia there. Usually this is when I use my fid, and you can stick your fid in there, and it will pop right back in. So let me try that real quick, a little off camera. All right, I just popped right in there. So it's all inside there now. So now you got two options. For this, for this week, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the quick and easy um, how to finish off the splice. Because right now the splice is done essentially, but you got this flap of cover there. So you get the, the one option is that you can fiddle with it and you can bury the core, um, or sorry, the cover back inside of itself by using like a fid like this. And you can bury it down in here and pull it through. The method that I use that's, that's just, it's quick, it gets the job done, um, is that you can take a pair of scissors, sharp scissors just like that. And then you can take your torch and just heat it up. And my wife calls my hands of gloves because I can just touch molten stuff all the time and I hand her hot plates all the time on accident because I apparently don't have feeling in my fingertips anymore. But there we go. So we melted that over just like that. Put it right there. All right. Now it's all smooth like that, and then you can get your whipping twine. And eh, let's be fun. Let's go with something bright here. All right, we got our wax whipping twine. Got our needle. Go ahead and thread that guy up. Let's get this out of the way. And all you do is I just go across the core here. Oops, and of course I did what I didn't want to do, but we go across the core here just like that. All right, and then cut these guys off even, and then you're gonna take your torch, give it a quick melt, and then you pull that molten whipping twine down, and then you're just gonna go nice and easy. And if you look, I'm pulling pretty tight with the whipping twine, and I'll just point that out to you guys tight and snug and this is how you get it nice and tight and professional looking. Keep going. Okay so now got it all wrapped around there and now I'm gonna go across the slice again and then I'm gonna go Again, this just locks it all together. This, this is, you know, it's for aesthetics that it also just keeps it from, there's no way that this splice is gonna be able to work itself apart. And then on this one, I come out kind of in the middle. And we even up all the, the wraps there. Come out here again. Kind of make it look easier. and then you can just come out somewhere away from the whipping go nice and tight and then you just cut it off and I take my torch melt it off you can also use let's see here 
hot knife. Some people use hot knives too, and you can do that to, to melt it off as well. All right, so that is your high tech splice and VPC. So this is going to be a halyard on uh, Ericsson 27. And there we go. And so on the other end, we're going to do what's called a Flemish eye. And we'll save that for another time. But thanks for watching uh, this, this week's spice. And stay tuned for next week. Thanks.